In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a $10,000 logo within 10 minutes. Yes, $10,000 logo within 10 minutes, no skills required, all you need is your computer and the internet. I'm also gonna address the elephant in the closet. Why do companies spend over $10,000 for the logo? In fact, companies spend more than $10,000 for their logo, and let me show you right now. These are the three things or four things that you need, and I'm gonna get into this, of what makes a $10,000 logo. But companies like BP, this is British Petroleum here, and I did this on Logo Maker. Uh, this is their logo here. They spent over ten thousand dollars. In fact, they spent two hundred million dollars. Let's just Google it right now. BP logo uh, cost, and you'll see right at the top of Google, you'll see it's two hundred and eleven million dollars for their logos. You could get into why they spent that much and so on and so forth. But why do companies really want to spend that much is because it's worth it to them. So for example, BP spent $211 million on the logo because yes, it was worth it to them. They own a billion dollar corporation and they wanted to look environmentally friendly and not polluters of the world. So they used this font that's railway and it looks really clean. They made this look kind of like a sunshine flower-ish uh, you know, just a nice feeling of earthy tones and stuff like that. And they did a really good job making it look environmentally friendly so they didn't look like they were the polluters of the world, but they were helping out with the world. And that is why they spent $200 million on their logo with a little bit of uh, branding and so on and so forth. But really, they wanted to articulate that feeling and that message. So that's really why companies spend over $10,000 on a logo because it means that much to them to articulate that emotion and feeling. So here are the four things that really count when you're making your logo. When I show you how to make a logo, keep these in mind. So the first thing is it matches the industry. BP did a really good job because it looks like it's part of the petroleum type industry. You want to look at other companies around your industry and see what they're doing. And you want to stand out, but you also want to look like you're within the industry and not some other industry. So when somebody sees your logo, they're not like, oh, that looks like another industry. I'm not even going to pay attention to it. You want to look like part of the industry, but also you want to kind of uh, stand out at the same time. And I'm going to get into that. The second thing is it expresses an emotion. So BP expressed an emotion of environmentally friendly. Maybe you want to express an emotion of seriousness or uh, funness or whatever the emotion is. That is what you have to express in your logo. It's the emotion. that what, It kind of represents you and your, your company. Uh, the third thing is good symmetry and spacing. So this is really important. Obviously, you want good spacing and symmetry. You don't want this over here or right here. They did a 45 degree angle. They did a good little job here. Also, these things, uh, they didn't rotate them off. They made them look really symmetrical. Um, so that's important. You could use your eye in that. You could kind of tell when something is not symmetrical and you just kind of feel it in your gut when you look at a logo. Um, the fourth thing is usability. And that means, does it look good on like maybe a pen? or maybe a huge billboard. So you wanna make sure this logo looks good on both uh, uh, something small and something really big. A lot of companies, they get too detailed and you can't even recognize their logo when it's on something really small. Maybe it looks like a blob or something like that. So that's really important. I would also add maybe one more thing is you want it to look custom like um, a logo that's not from a template. And that's why I like what I like about Logo Maker. You know, you can make things so custom and so unique that it's not like, oh, I haven't seen that logo before. You could add these elements and do a lot of stuff with this free, simple, easy tool, Logo Maker. And I'm going to get into that right now. So let's start making your logo right now. So to create these logos, what you want to do is go over to logomaker.com, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R. So the next thing I do is I look for an icon so I could start from there. The other thing you could do is start with text if you have some inspirational text, or you could go over and get an icon. But let's get an icon here. This is what I'm going to start with today. I'm going to type in mountain. All right, so they have a bunch of mountains here, but I think I like this one, and I'm going to use this mountain top right here for my logo. So all you have to do is just click on it, and you can move it around, or you could click on the corners, and you could resize it to make it bigger or smaller, just like that. So that looks about right. Now I was thinking I want a circle or half circle around this right here. So let's go ahead and let's type in like half circle. 
There you go. I see some half circles here. I'm going to click on this one here. It's going to put it on the canvas and I'm going to resize this one and I'm going to try to match it up to this right here. So let's make it a little bit bigger and let's move it over and then let's make it a little bit bigger. There you go. And I'm going to move it with my mouse keyboards here. There you go. That looks pretty good. Then if I want to resize it, I just click this blank area, hold down and I highlight everything and I could resize it just like that and I can move it both at the same time. You'll notice that I have layers here and I could show a layer or unshow a layer if I wanted to. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. The next thing I wanna do now is I wanna go over to my text area right here. Just click the T button here and you'll see some text show up. You could take this and you can move it just like that. And I'm gonna type in mountain. There you go. Now I'm gonna change the color. So I'm gonna go over here to my color fill and I'm going to make it black for now. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I wanna change the font. So they have a lot of categories here and then they have a lot of fonts within the category. There's a font that I really, really like for this and that's Passion One. So I kinda of looked through that already and I'm gonna add some more text on this as well. I'm gonna make it say Mountain Blanco. Why not? All right, so now let's line this up it's always good to line things up properly. There you go, right there. And I'm gonna get more into lining things up with you in a little bit. That looks pretty good so far. But I was thinking I wanted a tagline down here. So let's add some more text by clicking the text tool here. I'm gonna move it, but I don't like this font. I don't want it to be the same font. It looks like it's competing now. So I'm gonna change the color first and I'm gonna go up here and I found a font previously. There you go, I think that's a good font for this. And I'm gonna type in your tag line goes here. I'm gonna move that right below it. And you know what, I think I wanna make the color a little bit different, maybe a little lighter or something like that. There you go. And I'm gonna try to match up where the end of the O is and where the M is right there. Now that looks pretty professional actually. In fact, I could actually imagine a company really using this logo. So just by using a couple tools here, I made a professional logo. But let's get into more details about how to create different styles of logos and some other tools to use to really make your logo stand out. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to duplicate objects. And I'm gonna show you something really, really cool that I think you'll like. So I'm gonna make this look even better by duplicating this right here by right clicking and hitting the button that says duplicate. And it just duplicated this icon here. So now I wanna flip this object vertically. So all you have to do now is right click and click flip vertically right there. You can flip vertically or horizontally and I'm gonna flip it here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna take my opacity which makes it more transparent and bring it down. But also I wanna put it in the back. Now you can move the layers by putting it in the back that way or you could right click and send to the back and I'll put it in back. And I think I wanna make it a little bit more transparent, just subtle, very subtle, subtle, subtle. And that's kinda of cool that you see this like a subtlety in the background. And I would even probably make it a little less, even real, real subtle, just like that. Almost like a mirage off the water or something like that. So these are the little things I like to do within logos where you don't really see it until you look very closely at the logo. So if you're wondering, yes, this company actually did spend $10,000 with us. And the reason they did that is because it nailed all of those points I mentioned here. So this company uh, wanted, it was a snowboarding company, or it is a snowboarding company, I should say, and they do clothing and whatnot. So it matched the same feeling that they were going for. They wanted to look like a solid company. They wanted to make it look feel like it could be put on clothing and it so it did match the industry so that's check mark there the second thing is, is it expressed the emotion that they were trying to express which was a solid company but it was also um fun and snowboardy and in in the snow and whatnot so that kind of uh, has the same feel uh, as well right there and then it has good symmetry and spacing, which we kind of went over. You want to make sure like the, the end of the text hit this. By the way, this is not the company name. 
Um, we're not going to reveal that right now in this video just because we're still doing some branding for the company and, uh, and whatnot. But you could see the spacing and symmetry are really, really good within this. You could just tell by your eye and usability. They wanted to make sure it works on like tags and t-shirts and little things as well, as well as big things. So that's pretty much it. That's how to make a $10,000 logo with the Logo Maker tool. Um, I highly recommend that you get the vector format when downloading it. Um, I believe it's like $19. You could get the uh, small one, which is fine as well. But if you want to print it out on large t-shirts and banners and stuff like that, the vector one's the best one as well. Uh, let me know if any you have any questions or comments in the comment area below, and I will see you on the next video.